I just wanted to make this video really quickly to talk about the current state of the Vue ecosystem, all of the UI component libraries, dev tools, and everything else that you might use to build a Vue.js application with version three that just came out. People have a lot of questions right now about whether or not they should start an app in version three, or they should wait, or should they upgrade their version two app to version three? Or if you're just learning, maybe you have the question, should I start learning with version three or version two? So I wanna answer this really quickly upfront. And that is if you are learning, you should start with version three. It's in a stable version. There's no reason to learn version two. There won't be that many differences anyway. If you are thinking of upgrading a current version two app to version three, I would say it's best to wait on that until the whole ecosystem has been updated to be compatible with version three. So it's probably safer to upgrade your apps in Q1 of next year even. As for creating new apps in version three, right now you're starting to create new apps. This video will cover which libraries and tools are currently compatible with Vue version three and what you can expect if you start a Vue version three app right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For UI component libraries, I'm gonna start off with Vuetify, which I believe is still the most popular component framework for Vue.js. And it's the one that I'm the most familiar with as well. So where are they in the roadmap to supporting Vue 3? If we look into their GitHub issues, then they, you can see they pinned an issue, feature request support Vue 3. It's basically just someone asking about Vue 3 and what's their roadmap to support it. And if you scroll down, they actually made a whole page on their website to show the roadmap for when they're going to support Vue 3. Now this is from April 20th. And if you click on that link, this is their roadmap, which has been slightly updated. And they're basically estimating a Q4 release. So at the end of this year, probably sometime in November, I'm guessing for an alpha release of version three that will support Vue version three. Now, the reason why it's taken so long and will take a few more months still is because they're working on rewriting the entire framework in the new composition API. And they have almost 100 components, I think. They have a massive framework. And even in Q4, so at the end of this year, this will only be an alpha release. Then they'll still have to release beta and test it. So we're probably looking at a February or March or maybe even later release of a stable version of Vuetify. Although they do have at least two full-time developers working on Vuetify, which is definitely a good thing for them doing such a massive rewrite. If you scroll down here, people are saying that it will take until Q1 of 2021, just like I said. And this definitely isn't the only framework that's taking some time, although the other popular material UI based component library, Quasar, this is also a Vue UI component framework. And if you go to their GitHub, you can see there's an issue Quasar version two with Vue three. So they're waiting for the release of Quasar version two, which will be compatible with Vue three. And they kind of break down the plane here. Basically, they are going to do incremental changes. So they are not going to do a complete rewrite like Vuetify did. They're going to do the bare minimum to get it working with Vue 3 the way it is. They're going to release version 2 as a beta at the end of this month. So in just a few weeks, Quasar version 2 will be out. It will be compatible with Vue version 3. And then the full version will be out at the end of next month. So how are they able to do it so much more quickly? Well, they are not going to do a complete rewrite up front. They're going to do as much as they can to get it compatible right away. And then they are going to work on incrementally rewriting component by component using 
the lower level APIs available in Vue version 3 and the Composition API for all of their components. If you want to look at their progress, they do have a branch. So you can check on where they're currently at. And it seems like they are on track to release a compatible version in just a few weeks, which is great. Now for Element UI, this is another really great UI component framework for Vue.js. But like it says, it's for Vue version 2. And if you look at the Element repository on GitHub, actually they don't have any pinned issues for Vue version 3. And it seems like they're not actively working on supporting Vue version 3 right now. But you can see there is this issue called Element Plus. So it seems like someone has forked the Element UI library, made their own Element Plus library, which only has one working component at the moment. And they are slowly porting component by component. And this whole library, Element Plus, will be compatible with Vue version 3. So this might be something to check out if you like Element UI. And it's already compatible right now, but again, there's only one component you can use. Another component library that has come onto my radar very recently that I've been trying out and I'm going to make a stream on very soon is PrimeView. Now PrimeView is interesting because there are also other versions of this Prime library for React and Angular and even Java. So I took a look at the components and there are actually a ton of components for Prime View, and it's actually already compatible with Vue version 3 right now. This was a really quick migration and I'm very surprised that they could do it so quickly for such a big library. So if you're looking for a UI component library to use right now for Vue version 3, I would go with Prime View. Now there's another library that I have done videos on in the past called Vue Tensils. I really love this library. It has a lot of good ideas in here. And you can see one of their issues is Vue 3 support. And this is actually something that I am working on at the moment. You can see I am here and I'm working on this as we speak. It is taking a bit longer and it's more work than I anticipated but it's teaching me a lot about Vue and V3. So I'm hoping to get this done and fully compatible with V3 very soon. If we look at other libraries just in general for Vue 2, the compatibility with Vue 3 is very minimal. So let's look at this Vue Chart JS. This is extremely popular library. You can see 144,000 weekly downloads but from the GitHub, in this open question, does the library work with the Composition API? It seems like, yeah, if I find time, then yes. And then we don't see any more work done here on the issue. And you know, you can't really blame anyone because this library is an open source library. And of course, as open source, people are working on this in their free time. So libraries like this that make up a large portion of the JavaScript ecosystem and the Vue.js ecosystem will probably take a bit longer to update. I'm guessing it will not be until April, May, June of next year that a lot of these libraries are compatible with Vue 3. So that's another thing to consider if you're considering updating to Vue version 3. Which libraries are compatible? When are they going to be compatible? or if you or your team has the bandwidth to manually update all of the different libraries that you're going to want to use. In the Vue.js migration guide available in the Vue 3 documentation, you can see what libraries are currently supporting Vue 3. And because the Vue CLI, Vue Router, and Vue X are maintained by the core team, they all released a compatible version at the same time that V3 came out. Granted, they are still not in production ready releases. So Vue Router, like it says, is in beta. Vue X is also in beta and only Vue CLI is a stable release. And Vue CLI, if you watch my other Vue tutorials, you can see that it supports creating both Vue 2 and Vue 3 applications. Now for the dev tools, 
this is the biggest missing piece from the Vue 3 ecosystem right now. So they do have some features that are compatible in their developer tools, but you have to install a separate developer tool and it's a beta version. So you can install it from the Chrome web store or download the signed extension for Firefox. Now my main browser is Firefox, but I actually started using Brave so that I could use just the beta version out of the box of the Vue.js DevTools since Brave lets me install Chrome apps. However, this is a Vue 3 application and you can see there's not much here except for traversing components and doing a couple things. Basically all of the routing and state management and everything is missing. And you can see a clear difference from this is a Vue 2 application that I had. And you can see how I not only have the ability to see and look at each component and all the data and everything associated with it, but I also have all these tabs for Vuex events, routing, etc. So Vue DevTools for Vue 3 is still very much a work in progress. And it's one of the biggest hindrances to upgrading to Vue 3 right now. I've been using Vue Router and Vue X in their latest releases, and I haven't had any issues with the beta releases for those. And I'm guessing they'll be out in a release candidate or a stable version by the end of the year anyway. If you look at IDE support, the extension VTER for VS Code is excellent and it already provides support for Vue 3. Vue Test Utils has already been updated to beta. So writing tests for Vue 3 components should work as well. I still haven't tried out the latest version of Vue test utils here out in beta, so I can't say too much about that. Those are all of the libraries that I had to go over in today's video. I'm interested to know your thoughts. Did I miss anything? Do you have any comments? Any thoughts about Vue 3 or the Vue 3 ecosystem that's evolving right now? Let me know in the comments below, or you can chat with me on Discord about it. And the link to my Discord chat room is in the description below. Stay tuned for more Vue 3 content coming out next week.